So if you're on the market searching for the EX that is the one that is behind or the EXN, this is the video for you. And also, if you are asking to yourself is if it's really worth it to have a wheel that is heavier, maybe this video is also for you because I'm going to give you my thoughts about that when I have so many wheels and I ride already so many wheels in the last basically three years. So if you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk a little bit more about the EX with suspension, like you can see here, and the EXN without suspension. And you can think that they are two twin brothers and we just changed the suspension, but they are not the same. They are completely different wheels, but we will talk about that in future videos. Today is more to talk why I think that you should have a heavy wheel, if that brings bad situation like bringing this wheel up in my house in the first floor in your daily commute I believe that this can be a big benefit but we'll talk about that in a minute and talking also what is the sweet spot in my opinion when we talk about weight also that sweet spot it doesn't depend only on the weight but we'll go there in a second it seems a bit confusing but you'll understand where I want to go when we look to the EX we are talking about 39 kilos when we look to the EXN that I just put on the table we are talking about 32 kilos 0.8 so basically 33 kilos so just give me a second here is my Z10 and I remember that time that we used to say that a Z10 with 25 kilos was a very very heavy wheel, you remember that? And yeah, it still works, I still ride with it and I still love it. But when we talk about the Z10, even if I love that wheel, that wheel was bringing a lot of caviars with it. It was really special and continue to be very special to ride, but in the same time you are constantly fighting with it. And we'll go there in a second because you can bring some of those stuff with the EX, but not with the EXN. But we'll go there in a second once again, like I said. And I want to also talk about the evolution of the MSX and all the wheels and everything that's been happening in the last years. So if you look to the MSX, in that time if you was between the 84 volts or the 100 volts, you was between 23 to 24 kilos. When you look to the MSP, that I also have it, it was 24 kilos. When you go to the RS, we was talking about 26 kilos and a half. And when you look to the EXN, even if it's not the continuation of those wheels, I think it's the su successor of the RS, in my opinion, is 32.8 kilos. Having a heavier wheel, it's something that is going to bring a lot of benefits in my honest opinion. So if we go back in time and if we look, for example, to the V11, to my videos, and when I done the video about the V11, that, that wheel have 27 kilos, I always said to you guys that that wheel doesn't have so much wobbles because of the shape of it. And it's continued to be true, okay? The shape of the body of a wheel is really, really important. If we go back in time once again on my videos, you know that when I've done the previous review of the RS before I had the opportunity to ride, my opinion was that the RS was going to have more wobbles because it's even larger than the MSP, but it's not true. But also the truth is that wheel is even heavier than the MSP. It's like a Z10 in a certain way, you have a lot of wobbles, you need to use all your body. So that brings the stability. Yesterday was like snowing like hell, so I went out with the EX and the EXN and I ride in snow. And obviously this tire is a street tire, so it's not the best solution to use it in the snow, but also I wanted to bring that to the channel and talk a little bit more about it. But why I think that weight is so important? When I start thinking about this, I start thinking, which are your favorite wheels? I have some t-shirts that I've done like three some and my three favorite wheels is V11 in that time V11 RS and the Sherman so if you look to these wheels, the V11 have 27 kilos, the RS we are talking about 26 kilos and a half and the Sherman 35 kilos. But the Sherman with 35 kilos brings some caviars related with that wheel. That is much better than obviously the 39 kilos that you have here. It was like really, really complicated to go upstairs with this wheel, but we'll come there. When we talk about the EX wheel, many of you guys talk really, really bad about this wheel. And I want to say many of you guys, you related with the first video that was made for the EX. And what happened is that is a first generation wheel. When you go to the EX, and like I said, this is not a full review, okay, it's just my first thoughts. This wheel is really, really heavy. So the first moment that you go on top of it, you feel disconnected. It, it was basically the same sensation when you have the Z10. But because I had the experience with the Z10 since the beginning, 
And I respect that is a will that takes time to learn and to leverage that experience and to connect with. I'm giving more time to the EX. And every single time that I ride with this one, I love more and more. And you need to understand that when you look to a review of a wheel, that is just an opinion because we all live in different places. We all have different experience and we have different body shapes, different body weights. So you can't expect that is exactly the same. And when I'm doing my reviews, I try to don't think just what is my opinion, but trying to relate with other persons and trying to understand that your necessities are different than others. So when we look to the EX, it's simply an amazing wheel because the weight that this wheel gives and brings to the table is basically a Sherman with suspension. And obviously 39 kilos is already quite heavy and just to get that first momentum to accelerate, it takes a while, but also the motor is stronger. Having a wheel that is heavier also, besides giving you the stability, when you try to brake, you don't have the wobbles that it happens with the MSP or it happens with the uh, MSX and also like I said the body shape is really important so if we go backwards the best wheel that uh, got we have produced in the past was in my opinion the Nikola but that body shape was not the best decision because you had a lot of wobbles because of the the, the way that the air hits that wheel in here there is no wobbles and if you go to the EXN there is no wobbles also but obviously you don't have the same stability that you have here because this wheel is much much heavier I like that maneuverability that we'll talk in a second. The big disadvantage when you look to a heavy wheel is definitely the weight and if you have to go upstairs. So if you need to do that, you will not feel related with this. So if you live in an apartment and you don't have an elevator, definitely this is a big, big advantage that you have. You need to think is you have an electric unicycle to basically ride around, yeah? When you have a car, you don't look to the weight of that car. When you have a motorbike, you don't look to the weight of the motorbike because you are not taking home. If you want more performance, you can't really look to the weight of your wheel. I understand if you have to go upstairs, like I said, in that case, yes, it makes all the sense in the world, but but the weight is essential to bring stability and in the same time make these wheels safer and to the wheels getting safer you need bigger batteries and I think that the 2700 watt hours that now you can see on the EX on the EXN is the future having a bigger battery you are safer also when we talk about cutoffs I think that this is the new standard the new standard has been like 100 volts 1800 watt hours and now I believe that for 2021 the new standard will be 2000 1700 watt hours even if i think that this wheel is maybe not the wheel for me and i will explain in another video i think that the ex is simply the savior of godway so here it is the EXN and like you can understand it's quite difficult to show you something in this small room but this wheel have the exact weight that i expect in a wheel so before I tried the EX10, I always felt that a heavy wheel will not have the same possibility to maneuver than a lighter wheel like my MSP, for example. And it's not true. This wheel, the way that they balance this wheel is simply, simply amazing. That extra weight gives me extra stability. So when I try to brake really hard with this one, I don't have the wobbles that I normally have with my MSP. And I have a 2700 watt hours battery inside this wheel. Is it perfect? No, it's not. I will talk about that in a future video. But what I want just to bring to the table is if you are searching for a performance wheel and for my experience that I ride multiple wheels and in my house I have like eight wheels at the moment, I have to say to you guys that you need to forget about the weight of a wheel because that is going to make you choose the wrong wheels for your necessities. If you need to go upstairs, choose a lightweight wheel, obviously. But what I'm saying, if you want performance, you want to go fast, you need to start to forget to look to a light wheel to get those performance out of the box. It's simply amazing the stability that you have with the Sherman. It just flies. We've done a lot of uphill and the wheel just manage everything, like no problem at all, no lack of power, nothing. Obviously you can manage, but is much, much harder and is less safe than these wheels. They are much, much heavier. And since I start riding with the EX, EXN and the Sherman, I look less and less and less to other wheels that they are much, much lighter. So like I said, this is not a full review of the EX and the EXN. It was just to bring to the table why I think that you need a heavier wheel. So let me know in the comments below what is your thoughts about this subject. My name is Marco. This is Matt Peck. If it's your first time, here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one